You're both safe, thank goodness! You have the data then? Wonderful, wonderful! I don't suppose I could do the honors and replace this transcriber cartridge? I've always wanted to take a closer look. <laughs> take care of moving it now. We don't want anything to happen to the data. Oh, she got them wobbly hands. Don't do it, girl. Careful, does it? Come to me, oh, knowledge divine. Come to me. What is that? It's all right, the cartridge is safe. Let's finish the task before we... Are there any more surprises? Did you just say Hatsune Winku? Chat. How dare you. Well, JC's just like, yeah, I mean, this happens. What up, kids? What's going on? Mamma mia. You have our gratitude for bringing us closer to achieving our dream. What do they mean by that? They keep saying that, but I don't know what that means. I have no idea what... I don't know what the goal here is. Oh, all thick. Must you always be so formal? Although he has trouble expressing it, I assure you my brother is absolutely giddy with joy. Why are you here, Nofika? Have you not sufficiently amused yourself with the mortals? Or Nofika? Whatever. Not nearly! I would talk to them some more. Anovika promised you the key to deciphering the monument, did she not? Yes, that's correct. Then, you would do well to hold in your minds that which harbors information. Bro, what? Come now, brother. You need to speak plainer than that. To clarify, we shall create the objects you need, but your assistance is required to give them form. Worry not. Appearance has no effect on function. Just try and imagine that which, in your minds, is used to hold information. Is used to hold information, great. Like a box? Some sort of bag? Like an information bag? Oh, you mean a book? What is mine? Is that a phone? <laughs> there. These instruments shall be used in your quest. A tombstone. That is what is in my mind always tombstones. Across Eorzea lie eternal stones that hold the information required to complete the words of the monument. By holding an instrument out oh wait, by holding an instrument out to a stone, it will take that information unto itself. We scattered these stones across the realm that mortals would not uncover our secrets. Of late, however, it would seem you have found alternate uses for them as objects of worship. Bro, what? Could they be the marks of the Twelve? So, correct me if I'm wrong, 
I've been doing a lot of research for this 1.0 video I'm working on, but at the end of 1.0, they had you go around to the 12 stones, right? So this is, it's those same stones? I love that. I love that. They are, aren't they? Oh, to think that they harbored information of the, uh, on the gods. Seems we have our next destinations. Aside from the three city-states, I believe the marks are located in Curthis and Mordona. I propose we split up the quicker we finish the task. I wish to come too. Let me transform into... No, Mufina. T'would not do to burden these children so. After all this time, we finally have a chance to speak with mortals, to learn about them from up close, and we're not like to have another. I must say, I share Manfina's view. Damn right. She's like, I want to go to Ishgard. Even you, though? I'd like to learn about you too. Not because I'm attracted to any of you, but I would just love to learn about you. Music to my ears. We shall watch over you and see that you safely reach your destinations. Without further ado, then. <laughs> Not so fast. We too would like to be involved. Did you think you'd go frolicking without us? The others have our domain well in hand, so we're coming too. Well now, far be it from us to stop you. Let us assume our disguises too, and then each choose a mortal to accompany. Does this question, does this relate to which deities you chose at all? Please let it be something inconspicuous. No, sadly. All right. I would love to hang out with Rolgar. I mean, I picked that man because he's a big tough guy, but also he's a he's a falcon apparently. A fish, amazing. Ooh! That little cutie pie. I get a rabbit? Who is the rabbit? <gasps> is that mama? Is the rabbit mama? Oh my god. Oh my god, mama. Wait, where's the blue footed one? There's no bird. I mean, there's this bird, but there's no... Interesting. So who's that? So one was watching us, so another one was watching us, huh? Probably from the last group. Also, no Oppo. Hmm. I believe my destination is Thanalan. Then it's La Nocia Varaha on the Twelve's Wood for Cryal. Last but not least, Mordona and Curthis for Derek and Little. Will you be all right, Kryl? I shall be fine, you needn't worry. You think they're gonna mind if I just run that raid again real quick? Who is the fish? Minfina's the fish. 100%. So if... No. Namiya's the fish? Minfina... Oh, Minfina's the rabbit? I thought for sure this would have been, uh, uh... Mama. Interesting. Okay. Wait, so if the fish is... Nimia, who is, uh... Who's, who's Mama? 
All bunnies belong to the moon. Lol, lol. Mama was the plant thing. Oh, that's interesting. So hold the phone. Come on now. Come on now. So who's the bird? Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. To the internet. What is the, uh, the 12? Who's left? We have left to fight. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. We have... Thaliac. Maybe Thaliac. We have the Navigator, Lim Limlian, Limlian, Lim Lane, Lim Lane. Sure. Ashan the Wanderer, who is one hundred percent the Opo. That Opo Opo was that dude. And then, uh, that's it. We have those three left. So Thaliax the scholar, ruler of rivers and wisdom. Um Limlane is the navigator, watcher of seas and the goddess of salvation or of navigation, commands the element of wind, is tied to the third astral moon. A strong fisherwoman. Well, there you go. That's that's the seabird. That's a strong fisherwoman right there. So, all right. And then you said on the other side was an owl? If there's an owl, it's 100% going to be, uh, what's his face? Thaliac, then. And then Ashan is the uh, last one, the Oppo, right? Oh, yeah, there's the owl. 100%. So that's, that's knowledge, right? And then Ashan's the Oppo, and that's all of them. Which means you got to have four bosses. So whatever the whole end thing is is gonna be like something different right it's gonna be those three and then a final boss whatever that is interesting okay um do i have to accept this quest right away oh hold on Others will remain to keep watch over our domain. Oh, yeah, no, I saw them. Never before have I traveled with mortals. Ah, oh, such fun this will be. Moon bunnies. We abided by the gods' selections, but why do you suppose the two of us were grouped together? Bro, I don't even know. Why? Because you make the most intriguing pair. The God-spelling hero and the world-faring explorer. Okay. I shall relish the chance to learn about both of you. Now then, the others have already set forth, so let us do the same. Aside from my own mark, I believe we'll find... Those of Thaliac and alone in Mordona and Kerthus. Yeah, there's my Oppo. There's the Oppo. Ook, ook. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, my. What an adorable creature. Delighted to meet you, little one. Seems to want to join us, too. Look at this long con. You don't fool me. What an unusual company this has become. The gods truly know no inhibition. Forgive me, Little. I couldn't have anticipated this turn of events. <laughs> I got a crazy group of cutie pies. I'm here for it. I love some. All right. Can I ditch or... 
Look at this guy, ook ook. I see through, I see through you, you little beasted. Hey, Mr. Philgood, thank you for resubscribing. Also, Tayana Moon, thank you. And Hermit Peanut, thank you for gifting those subs. And Zax Karat, thank you for resubscribing. And Lox Red, thank you for resubscribing. Dwarf, thank you again. You're all amazing. They added Heaven's War Duty Dungeons. Look at who fills the Great Google Library. Is it Mama? Is it Great Mama? It's better. It's better. It's better than anything I could ask for. Now that's a hero. As the tank? Love it. I love that. Rafina is winsome, is she not? We all think of her as our younger sister. Bro, I don't even know what I'm doing here. In heavenly company. Well, what are we waiting for? Let us seek out the marks at once. Yes, yes, no need to be so hasty. Shall we then, little? Pfft, you're the hasty one. The nearest mark is Thaliax, just outside Mordona. If memory serves, it overlooks the lake at a place called Wraithfrost. Who wants to run this damn thing? Let's get crazy. Who's coming with me? All right, who's coming with me? Jan? Jan, you coming with me, Jan? I want to go. I mean, obviously you're in now, Tessa. Oh, look at this little troublemaker. Invite. Hold on, I got to make a group. Hi! Let me make party. Oh. Hold on, uh, party finder. Recruit members. Alliance. Raids. Doing things. For cool kids only. All right. Uh. Yeah, all right. Recruit members. There you go. Open. Oh, damn. It's filling up. It's filling up. <laughs> what is this hellfire armor? What the hell is this helmet? Ah. Ah. Terrifying. Terrifying. I love it. I love it. No, this is New Year's, but this helmet is is from the uh, P8S or whatever the hell it is. P7S. We need one more person? Abyssos, yeah. yeah. Fancy weapons. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> oh, it's the worst.
We got one more slot. Do I have to remake it? What's my, uh, what's the deal here? What's the deal here? I need to make it again. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Nice. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing, shall we? Lovely, lovely. Thick pudding! Alright. To adventure! Did it say I received three of three rewards? That doesn't seem likely. I won a helmet, true. But I didn't win anything else. Oh, gear coin tombstone. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Understood. Ooka miner, thank you. Look at this professional team of too few Lollafells. Yes, it worked! Lovely. Oh no, Krug! It's the worst. Prove to me life's resolve! Keep using the uh, new era theme song. Big fan. Big fan. Not gonna trick me. Go, little JC. Run away. Oh no! Run! Keep running! Shit. That's a new tool tip. Oh, I love that. Mine is the breath of the earth.
I don't know what to do here. I understand. Okay. This is what killed me on the first run. Because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Directly straight. What if I run this way? Save me from myself! No! I did it again! Mama, attack me! Break yourself upon my little JC-ness! to wait. Nothing I need or could get. This bit up here is pretty cool. By my authority, let the land be remade. Got a landslide, man! I missed all the cool shit.
Don't get killed by the meteor. Whoa, shit, or that. My sister shall be joined. a new card. I don't know what the hell this means. Don't look. Have you the strength to defy fate? Lady, I don't know. I honest to God have no idea what this is. What does this do? Seduce of gazing. Understood. Don't gaze. Okay. That's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I just had to read like a human being, you know. One of them humans. When they read, when they learn things. It's a lesson for us all, really. I shall measure your work. I shall measure your work. So cool. I definitely stood in that a little too long, but like, that's a cool looking effect. Not like this. Not like this. A lady. Uh oh, what? The I got pulled over there. Y'all saw me get pulled. I, I know they're trying to help me. I recognize what happened there. But it uh, was too late on my part. <coughs> uh oh, we switched up. Oh, oh, look towards. She can flip the cards, flip it and reverse it. Jam dance, come to jam, jam, jam.
Lady, you trouble. and some don't. Uh. That was an entirely different fight mechanic compared to the last time I was here. Yo, little crystals and shit. That's gonna be cool. That's gonna be cool. Our lines, they got bullied? I mean, we bullied ourselves a little bit, too. This is the one that killed us a bunch in the first attempt. I, the fury, shall test your strength of spirit. Yo, this song slaps. Trouble.
Ah, yes, my absolute favorite. Oh, come on, I was through. All right, I'm far back enough, I'm not worried. Can't get me, lady. It's a moment. You want it. Alright. So, one, two, over, in, and. Lady, yeah. Your next test awaits. What loot did we get this time? I wonder. Nothing for me. Could use it anyway.
Yo! This reminds me of that scene from uh, Final Fantasy X where they all slide down the the thing to say, you know, spoilers. What is MAGFest? Mid-Atlantic Games Festival, I believe, is what it is. It's in Maryland. It's great. A lot of good music. It's like a music festival kind of thing. But for video games, like I saw Mega Ran, and I know Skatoon Network was there, but I didn't get, I didn't get to see Skatoon because I had to do a panel at the time, but it was great. Super fun. A lot of good stuff. So worried why everyone grouped them. Oh, because the moon. I wasn't even paying attention to the moon. Woo! That would have been bad. Look, this song has a ridiculous breakdown with that violin. It's your boy. Oh, not yet. It's not yet your boy. Boy.
what? I'm gonna take what I can and sit tight. Cause this seems like the sweet spot. Ooh, mama mia. from myself! Run into the group! Run into the group! Yes! Yes! Who? Who did that? Who did that? Who wiped the raid like that? Who, what? Neat. 71, that's what I get. Neat. One? This is my punishment. This is my punishment. This is my punishment. This is it. This is my punishment. This is what I get. This is what I get. Bad karma. Ooh, what's this look like? Yo, that's cool as hell. That's pretty fun. That's what I get. That's my punishment. That's my punishment. I gort minion. Yay. I'm glad you gored it. Good work, everybody. I'm glad you gored it. Hey, easy, easy, easy times at Cool Kid Town. Easy times at Cool Kid Town. All right, nice. Good work, everybody. Okay, I gotta switch back. Because it's time for Vacation JC. Back at it again. Tessa, what are you trading me? Hopefully, the answer is nothing. Well, JC triumphs once again! Oh, we got a sliding door? Oh, they're resetting the state hall. Hmm, let's see. They're doing the outside, I guess. Why did I pull everything off when I could have just kept it unequipped and instead of doing all this? I 
anything to sell? Not particularly. All right. Let's continue on to going here. They really put it all the way down. I guess I've been there before. Isn't this where a certain character is? No spoils. No spoils in chat. Keep that to a minimum. It's also where you go to get your, uh, what is that damn thing called? Uh, the, the horse, right? The Kirin? I think that's the same place. Oh, the Leech King. That's me in every Alliance raid ever. So many people here. Yeah, so here's one of them. This is one of the stones. Derek. Now then, we're to hold out an instrument to the stone. Would you care to do the honors here, little? Sure, let me pull out my cellular phone. <laughs> instrument vibrates rapidly. Tis done! The information held in the stone has been etched. As Althic, uh, as Althic, you gotta keep saying that, said these stones are eternal. No matter their shape or location, their nature is unchanging. Together with the monument in Omphalos, they have remained the same since time immemorial. Twas the love that men bear for us, and we for the star, that compelled us to create the monument in the stones. And though men do not know the truth of the stones, they offer them prayer. This act is a manifestation of your bond with us. But the stones are a manifestation, a manifestation of our bond with the star. And so, by praying to the stones, you effectively cultivate a bond between yourselves and us and the star. Delightful, is it not? Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> Though we appreciate your eagerness to talk, perhaps we should save some conversation for the destinations to come? If we linger too long in, one, in any one place, we're liable to be late to reconvene with the others. Then let us make f oh, then let us make for the central highlands of Curthus. Then the Fury's gaze, my own mark awaits. <laughs> my mark is on the moon. Why you do this? Why you do this to us? Why you do this? This was a very quick way to go, so I'm not too fussed. I'm not even fussed about it, although I went the wrong damn direction. Or did I? Nope, I went the wrong damn direction. It's in here. Oh, hey, gang.
There it is, the mark of the fury. It wouldn't do to burden you constantly. I shall extract the information this time. Looking back, Cologne, you've grown noticeably more imposing this past millennium. There are also more statues in uh, the Heaven of Ice. So their warship made the statues appear? Oh, but an idea occurs to me! Little! This time I want you to share what you know about the warship of Alone. I dare say, it'll be interesting to hear what mankind thinks of her from your perspective. Let me get down real close. Uh... The Guardian Orthodox Church is the heart of faith in the Fury. You often hear Lone's name invoked in battle. The church is returning to its roots and moves to separate itself from the state. This one doesn't make sense, a thing that I would say to her. Maybe, the, maybe it's because you didn't get the middle one? So the middle one is special? Oh. Shit, all right, maybe that's what I choose. Interesting, it's a special answer. Ah, so the people's faith continues to evolve. You and yours are ever on the move, marching inexorably, inexorably forward. Tis a quality I find admirable. Well, how very fascinating. Tis a fine thing indeed to hear directly from mortals. Still, as much as Sloane loves her children, it troubled her to see them at war with the dragons. To see those who share this star spill each other's blood? As you should know, uh, should well know, Menfina, it isn't our place to judge the faith of mortals. Even when we lend them our aid, we must refrain from intervening in their affairs. Lest there be any doubt, mankind's faith in us is mankind's alone. By your prayers, our forms are become that which they need to be. Uh, apologies for the wait. Acquire the information, have you? Excellent! Let us proceed to the next mark. Mine! On the moon. Oh. Still, still vigil. By the cliff west of the entrance. Follow me! Okay. That bunny just be hopping away. Shoop. We don't necessarily know anything about these gods, TBH. I'm still not sure they're not aliens, you know what I mean? Like, they're clearly, they're, at least from what I can tell, they're not primals. So I don't know who these people are. But I'm saying aliens, ancient aliens. Why not? Why can't I have ancient aliens? Why can't I have them? Another zone cleared by Jesse Cox. Aliens. I mean, originally I figured if they're not primals, they might be ancients, but I feel like we've dipped into the ancient well way too much. So, I mean, they could be like various ancients, but we've been there. We've done that. So maybe we got to go back to my favorite thing. Aliens. You never know. Alright, 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 alright. 
Man, the amount of times I've been here for the Dragoon quests. Mamma mia. Well now, aren't we quick? My mark lies ahead. Let's wait for the others and then continue together. How delightful to see one of my faithful children. O oh, benevolent goddess, grant me deliverance, I beseech you, save my soul. You! You're the one who is hunting down the lambs of Dalmud! Yo, is this a dude from, like, the first dungeon? Technically, 1.0? I knew it. I knew you wouldn't stop till you've dealt with every last one of us. And now you've come for me. Ah, to think that is her will. The Lambs of Dalmud. They are the cult that appeared prior to the seventh umbral calamity. Are they not? In, this, uh, in the name of their faith, they abducted and sacrificed innocent souls and did not fear death. I've committed no crimes, I swear it. Menfina as my witness. In the beginning, we simply prayed to the two moons for Dalamud to one day shepherd our souls to the bosom of his mistress. It all changed when Dalwood began turning red. More and more of us began believing that he was our savior. We must prove our loyalty with our lives, else we would suffer eternal damnation. So that's how your group took to its uh, took on its fanatical ways and became in came language and came to be branded a dangerous cult. And at some point, I assume you were tasked with hunting them down. Look, I know all this because I'm doing my 1.0 video. It's a lot of information. Although, note to self. Add back in the part about the Lambs of Dalman because I was like, this isn't important. But clearly it matters. I used to be a merchant in Uldah. But timid as I am, I struggled to survive in this cutthroat world. That's why I turned to Minfina. I wanted to bask in her gentle acceptance and gain courage from her strong and faithful hound. They were my solace. The only way I could be at peace with myself. But they took that from me. My fellows who committed those horrible deeds and those who reviled me as one of them, they took it away. You're strong, aren't you? Grant me deliverance, I beg you. Judge me and show me the way. Bro, I'm on vacation. Oh, I just can't bear it anymore. What good is a god I can't see who won't grant me a thimble of a sucker no matter how much I pray? You mustn't seek in men what you seek in gods. Strong as he is, he is but a mortal like you. He is made of flesh and blood and possessed of his own will. Nothing more, nothing less. He's actually like one-eighth our size too, bro. Come on. It avails you not to raise others up while belittling yourself. You are your own person with a path of your own to walk. Even should you be taken by despair... That you are here now makes you no different from this man. So, believe me when I say, all will be well. Keep your faith in Minfina, believe in her love and grace, and you surely, you will surely learn to love others as well as yourself. Aw, oh, damn, bro. Please forgive me for my unseemly outburst. I had been feeling lost, and... All my anguish came spilling out. It was Minfina herself who brought you here. I'm certain of it. To encourage and guide me. 
Taking your words to heart, I'll search. Uh, I'll try searching for a new path. Should you feel lost again, take to the road. See what's out there. Learn how others live and think, and you're bound to find your way. <laughs> I'm on vacation. Blessings be upon you on the road ahead, dear child! Did you say something? <laughs> they just all pointed to the rabbit. That would have been amazing. The rabbit did. Unsolicited, though it was, I don't regret saying those words to him. He needed to hear them. But come, little. This time, it's your turn to extract the information. instrument vibrates rapidly. Forgive me, little. I, I fear I've caused you trouble. Nah, I'm on vacation. I'm relieved to know that. You truly are strong in body and spirit both. Far be it for me to ask this of you, but please do not hold it against that child. wish for our existence to bring grief to our children. Yet no matter which faith, we are who we are because those who believe in us. My hound is no exception. He was born when men came to worship the object their ancestors cast unto the heavens. We are not all powerful. We can't grant all of mankind's wishes. I know Rogar could. Just saying. Nonetheless, we always, always hear you. No hope is too small, no prayer too faint. I just want to make that clear. Lest you forget, we love mankind dearly. Okay. I'm on vacation. <laughs> I didn't know this happened! I didn't know that! I love that! <laughs> Divine non-intervention. What are we about to see? With this, we've completed our task and may return to Umphalos. Yet I can't help but think about Kryl. Grahatias seemed to be worried about her, did he not? Twas as if something weighed on her mind. Though she is in company of the deities, I find myself worrying too. Mm, whatever it is, only one way to find out. Yes, I suppose so. There are no objections. Let us seek out Kryl. She's headed to Twelveswood. All right. She got by her gut. They're presently too far away for us to sense, but we should be able to locate them once we're in the forest. I 
see, in that case, let's go to Gridania. This little snaky boy. I love that some people go over there. That's very cute. Derek is always sus. Derek is supreme susosity. Oh my goodness. The whole crew's here. Alone. As I understand it, mortals hold that no Nofica and I are at odds. Like other details about us, you are free to believe what you wish. For all his preference for solitude, Derek certainly seems concerned for the welfare of others. How very intriguing. Ook, ook. I see through you, baby Opo. I see through you. Also, thank you, my cantrum. Whoa, and thank you, game maniac. Thank you so much. All right, let's keep this going. So, here we are in Gadania. Can you sense Nofika? Nofika? And buyer gut around here? I do, but something is strange. Indeed, they appear to be in different places. Nofika is near, near of the two, and quite close by. I shall go and find her. Bye. Wait, you, you mustn't go off on your own. Ah, confounded after a little. I see you, JPEG Wes. Love the look. Very jealous. Love the look. So you have that. I'm going for... I want a look that's going to match when I pull out these, these swords. Like, that's good. That's cool. But... When you roll with mom's stuff, you gotta roll. You gotta roll hard. You gotta roll with mom's gear. You know what I mean? Who be smooching me? Who be smooching me? Hello? There she is! Well now, I wasn't expecting to see you all here. Is aught the matter? You're supposed to be with Kryle and Burgut. Where are they? Oh, we became separated while I was distracted, listening to the elementals. The beings are the voice of those who call the wood home. As I'm the patron of this land, I could not help, but uh, they could not help but report to me. She's like a little tiny, like, nut. She's cracked open and like, I'm inside here. You gods can sense each other? Even should you become separated, shouldn't it be simple matter to find them again? Indeed. It would seem you are keeping something from us, Novigo. All the animals are super sus. Oh, hello, and there's simply no fooling you. Very well, I shall confess all. The child Cryo wanted to visit our stones alone, you see, to complete her task without us watching over her. We merely respected that wish. With her abilities, I do not believe she's in any danger. But the worrier that he is, Beargut, 
decided to follow her, af follow after her discreetly. If this is her wish, then indeed we must abide by it. As for Burgett. Ah, uh, yes, I sense him in the place men called the South Shroud. One of the stones is situated there, I believe near Camp Tranquil. Let us search the area for Burgett. If we find him, we should find Kryle as well. They got me going all over the place for this one. What is this all going to reveal? Where are we going with this? What is the big plot point that we're going to learn from doing all this? Because I want to know. The lore master in me wants to know. Oh, hello, suspicious Spriggan. How you doing, buddy? Wait, hold on. What brings you all here? We understand you've been following Kryle. Where is she? Having acquired information from my stone, she now makes for all fix. I keep my distance to avoid being seen and was about to continue on when you appeared. All thick stone is her last destination. Oh, it's her last destination, is it not? Let us all go and meet her there. Ever everyone so wishes, very well then. Dice our passage. I shall call upon Master Rolgar's servants. That's my that's my dude. The eagles are coming! The eagles! What I tell you. The Eagles. It seems we have the use of these hawks. Let's see if we can spot Kryl from above. I'll bring our companions so you needn't worry about them. Are you ready? Yes. I see a corgi. Go, my feathered friend! Fly like the wind! No, I'm not gonna join that. I see a... Moogle? Actually, two Moogles? Uh-oh. I must thank you, little... Talking to you helped me find the resolve to seek out Cryo. Oh, oh. No signs of her here. Let's continue to all thick stone. I see a thousand year old child down there. You know, I see them all. That guy's struggling to keep up. Oh, never mind. We're gliding. We're gliding. We're gliding. There she is already. She certainly wasted no time. Look at this crew. Well now, did you come all this way just to check on me? I've been on edge worrying I might stumble into Odin so you gave me a bit of a fright. Novika tells us that you wish to travel alone. What prompted you to send the gods away? Mm, it's difficult to explain. I suppose... I suppose I wanted to seek the answers in my own way. As the gods told us, if we wish to know the truth, we must discover it for ourselves. In spite of this, They've seen fit not only to set us upon the right path, but accompany us besides. 
This bespeaks the faith that they have in man's spirit of inquiry, and it gives me heart. After all, it is the self-same spirit that defines the students of Baldessian. Like everyone, I want to uncover the truth of the Twelve, to know their aspirations and understand them. And having seen a dear friend embark on countless adventures, I develop a... Uh, develop the desire to see and experience the world for myself. I got you. We leave you behind too much. Understood. There are dangers out there, of course, but I want to prove that I could handle them and perform my task. I see. Indeed, as much as we can learn from others, there's no substitute for seeing it with one's own eyes. And in yours, I see the gleam of yearning for exploration and discovery. It reveals to me the love you bear for our star, and it makes me glad. Uh, what's this all of a sudden? It's embarrassing when you say such things with a straight face. Right then, I've yet to acquire the information here, so I'll tend to it at once. Perhaps you'd like to wait for me at Quarry Mill. Interesting. I would love it if in 7.0, Kryle was like more, you know, if they gave her a new job, if they like added more, I'd be down for that. Kryle Beastmaster. Let's wait for Kryle here. I'll forget Beer Gutter with her, so she'll be fine. First, uh, the man at Menfina's Mark and now Kryle. In the course of travel, with, uh, with you and yours, it seems I inevitably end up encroaching upon others' lives. You get used to it. Ook, ook, ook. Ah, yours as well. Though nothing binds you to me, you follow me ever since I tended your wounds. You're free to go anywhere, you know. A person's life belongs to that person alone. Others can't be expected to assume responsibility for it, and thus it is wrong to interfere. I should... That should just be a bumper sticker. Alas, once I've glimpsed someone's heart, I find I can't avert my gaze. It truly is difficult to be amidst people. Derek. You know what? It's messed up. You keep saying stuff like that, and everyone's like, oh, this must be... I'm telling you, Ashan's baby Oppo. I'm not falling for this. Derek is just a weirdo. I'm not falling for this. Derek just a just a creep who doesn't talk to people. Doesn't take too long to extract the information. Kral should be here any moment. Uh, yep, right there. Apologies for the wait. With that, I've obtained information from all my stones. You've taken care of yours already, yes? Girl. Thank you for worrying about me. Well, it's good to know that I can handle myself. I'm heartened to be doing this with all of you. I owe you my thanks as well, Beer Gut and Nofika, for accepting my request in good grace. Think not of it. You did well to see your task through, little one. Indeed. Come, come, let us all return to the Omphalos. Nod. They definitely need another ranged caster. Is what they need. They're gonna do another job. We need a ranged caster of some sort. But it has to be something like... Unique, you know what I mean? What? I have no clue. I couldn't tell you. What job do I like? I play red mage. Because, uh... I like it. It's fun.
You took your time, little. Did something happen? Nah, we was just having a fun time. Bing, bing, bing. Ah, so you rendezvous with Kryle? How's your experience with gods, if I may ask? Yo, they're, they're cool. They're pretty cool. Not only did you help a disillusioned man find his way, you looked in on Kryle besides. Thank you, little. And thank you as well, Derek. I fear I overstepped my bounds, but what's done is done. We shall return to our sanctums. You have our gratitude for the delightful time. By holding your instruments out to the monument, you'll be able to augment the missing information. Be well, dear children. Bye. Bye, everybody. Shall we then? All right, here we go. Aliens. And aliens. Pull out my phone. Pew, 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 pew. That's hilarious. They all got books and stuff. Oh God, I got a tombstone. Lovely. We have empowered it. She's thrilled. Everything's great. Amazing. What was impossible to cipher is now crystal, crystal, crystal clear. Without further ado, I shall read out the epigraph. Here we go. Give me the lore, Kryle. I've been waiting. As beings who endured by the will of the star, we are susceptible to the influence of hopes and prayers. Thus, we commit our yokes herein, lest we stray from our purpose. He who is named Birgit shall preside over construction, his duty to fortify the works of men and encourage them to build. He who is named Ralgar shall provide over destruction, his duty to galvanize the star's beating heart and facilitate mankind's regeneration. She who is named Azemya, Azemma, Azemma, shall preside over the sun, her duty to nurture its life-giving light and illuminate the truth for all to see. He who is named Nalval shall preside over the subterrain, his duty to make gleam the riches hidden in the darkest depths and in men themselves. She who is named Nofica shall preside over fertility. Yeah! Her duty to fill the land with life and prepare a path of peace and plenty. He who is named Allthick shall preside over space and time. His duty to endow the star with material vigor that mankind's march may never cease. She, who is named Halone, shall preside over the glaciers, her duty to hold the melting ice at bay and imbue men with constancy and tranquility. She, who is named Minfina, shall preside over the moon, her duty to perpetuate the turning of night and day and foster love in the hearts of all. He, who is named Thaliac, shall preside over the rivers, his duty to quench the thirst of men and water their minds with wisdom. She who is named Nemea, or Nimia, shall preside over the stars, her duty to preserve the celestial fabric of the seasons and weave the threads of men's lives. She who is named Lim, 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 Lim Lane shall preside over the seas, her duty to administer the tides and inspire men to come together as one and seek new horizons. He who is named Ashan shall preside over the mountains, his duty to sustain the breath of the firmament and in wandering share in men's solitude. He who is unnamed shall watch unflinching, 
his duty to stand guard over his charge always and unto the end. So that's the fourth boss. That's the that's the that's the that's the fourth boss there. Okay. All right. There, the epigraph concludes. We've been given quite a lot to ponder. I mean, we already knew that. I, I read all the books. So I knew that, but we have one, The Watcher. I'm here for that. But we you figure that's what it's going to be, just based on the number of deities we have left and how raids work. So, what do you think, Oppo? Ook, ook? Exactly. Curious, sir, and curious, sir. That guy must watch my streams. Writings about the gods, written by the gods themselves? This is utterly unprecedented. There's a watcher, he's on the moon? If that's who it, if that's who that guy is? Question, 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 question. Ignore aliens. Do you think if the watcher, much like, because uh, the watcher was put on the moon by Vana, do you think that all these people were put here by Vana to like guide us and help us along to get to the point that we're at now and now that we've kind of like done everything, they're, they're like, all right, we don't gotta be all that stuff. We don't gotta do all that shit, right? So maybe they, they were here to guide us to get to that point. And so these are all like, cause if you remember this, the first said, the, the first set said they always existed, right? Always existed to us. My question is, if you remember, Emmett says that uh, there were there was the group that wanted to sacrifice them, sacrifice people to to make Zodiac, and then there was the group that was against them. And, but in the cutscene we saw, it literally seemed like it was just Vana. So could these be the extra group of people that were like Team Vana? Are they are they like yo? We were brought here to be a part of this to help you do the thing. I wonder. Like they were, like she's like, yo, I need, I need someone to look out for these people. I don't know. I don't know. Our yokes lest we stray. No, oh, see? See? Vana, even though she was like, I put my faith in people, she was like, yo, I need to like, Make sure, right? Maybe. Interesting. That would be a fun, complete circle. Oh, that's... Oh, my heart. Hopes and prayers influencing their nature. Have you any thoughts on the contents of the epigraph, Little? The prayers of her faithful made Halone more imposing. The worship of Dalmod brought forth Munfina's hound. I mean, I feel like this one speaks like a thing was created. mean to say that the prayers have changed the twelve into their present forms? That is rather hard to believe. Given what we know of Dynamis, I believe it's entirely possible. In the presence of that energy, hopes and prayers have more tangible results than one might expect. I literally made a planet! power may be curbed upon our star, but over thousands of years of worship, it could have influenced the gods in various ways. Ways such as which little just described for one. Others that come to mind are Halone's shield and spear, which reflect her status as goddess of war, and Nimia's spinning wheel, which is an apt apparat apparatus for a cause of fate. I 
absolutely am convinced of this now. And thus did they create this monument, this yoke, that they might never lose sight of their duty, no matter how much they may change. I'm inclined to agree with Raha. The gods wrote that they endure by the will of the star. Who that refers to, we all know too well. Mama! Heidelin. By sundering reality, she must have known that she would shake the very foundations of existence. Anticipating the chaos, I suspect she charged her collaborators. Figured it out, baby! Love it. Love this plot thread. Love it. This is true. Then might not the 13th unnamed person be the Watcher on the moon? He seems pretty unfazed by that. The piece has certainly fallen into place. I wonder if he would be willing to share what he knows. As it stands, we've yet to encounter three gods. As there's no telling what may happen once we've fought all of them, I believe we should try to uncover as much of the truth as we can, the better to know how to proceed. See you in 6.5! To that end, ere we seek out the Watcher, Raha and I shall return to Charlie and to compile our findings, the data from the Analyzer not least of all. They put this man in an amazing outfit and then made him wear that. To think that the investigation might lead us to the moon! I eagerly look forward to the next stage of our field work. Oh, he's walking tall. Little, like as not, yet more grueling encounters with God's weight. You should rest up and gain your strength. I'm on vacation. Not long now, ere we arrive at the truth. The longest time I've journeyed alone, not involving myself in the affairs of others. But I've enjoyed our time together. You've undertaken the investigation with all earnestness, and it has been a pleasure to be part of it. When I imagine the moment we must part ways, I can't help but be saddened. It surprises me that I feel that way. Forgive me, I didn't mean to act sentimental. You'll excuse me, I shall head outside for some fresh air. I love this baby. I love him. There he goes, little. Do you suppose you could follow after him? I can't quite say why, but... I feel as though he'll suddenly vanish one day, never to return. The thing is, is Derek is so on the nose suspicious that I have to believe that the Oppo is Ashan. But if he turns out to be Ashan, like, okay. But it, I mean, like, it's super on the nose. However, they did say that Ashan's whole thing is he he walks alone so he can learn to be like men. And if he takes the form of a man while everyone else takes an animal form, that also makes sense. So it's not like a big stretch, you know what I mean? You know, I can't help but wonder 
Why Derek came to help? Uh, came to us for help? As an explorer, didn't he want to keep the glory for discovery to himself? I, for one, would have gone over the phantom realm with a fine-tooth comb alone before thinking to tell a single soul. Why the Oppo? Maybe he saved it. I don't know. Maybe, ooh, maybe he was the form of an Oppo and he saved the Oppo as an Oppo. He didn't say that he saved it as a human. Maybe he saved it as an Oppo. That's my crazy theory for the night. But, um, basically, yeah, I think that's really nice that they, so, you know, Emmett says, like I said, Emmett says that Vanah had a group, and in the cutscene, we only see Vanah, right? And so I think it's interesting that we now see kind of like, oh, these are her conspirators, these are people that were working with her, and they've been tasked with like, while Heidelin is taking care of everything else, and kind of like, trying to make little JC, <laughs> That uh, they were out here trying to like hold the world together and dealing with all the shit, you know, like of centuries worth of shit. I think it's super interesting. I love that. I love that little bit of like, we're going to wrap up that, that story piece. They admittedly, when they said that 7.0 was going to be like a fresh start, they're really, ra they're like, remember those threads? We're gonna tie him off. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Oh, tis you, little. What is it? Yo, are you gonna disappear? Snogum's worried that. I'll suddenly vanish, you say? Well, as the saying goes, all things must come to an end, whether we will it or not. When our work is finished, we must go our separate ways. Doing so will sadden me, as you know. Yet... That sadness is part of the joy I derived from Arkham. No, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. For a brief moment, I was like, what if this person was Asm? But I'm not going to go there. That's too much of a stretch. That's out of control stretch. So I'll accept it when the time comes and strive with you to the last. Ook. Oh, my little cutie boy. As you know, my friend, I would rather you uh, live your own life. But having helped you, I won't send you away against your will. Well, you're a busy man, so I won't keep you. As before, rest assured, I will share with you any tidings I receive from Kryl. Take care, my friend, and see you again in due course. Yeah, I don't necessarily mean that he is... Asm, Asm. I feel like if I was going to tell a story about that, that would be 7.0 shit. Because, like, Asm's whole thing was dude or dudette travels everywhere. So maybe that's like a Maricidia thing. Or most likely, probably a New World thing. I think it would be dope if it was a New World storyline. But I think if Vana is remaking a convocation and having one of them be an Asm-like character... I think it makes sense, right? <coughs> and I think that what we're seeing here, what we're getting right now is uh, the the idea of of the, of Derek being like, "Yo, I I'll be gone soon." I think maybe it's going to be all of them are gone. 
Because if they're from the Will of the Star, and technically, you know, that eventually, like, they reveal themselves to be like, hey, thanks. And, like, they're, you know, like, they're proud of us. And then they're going to be like, and vanish. Because they aren't really needed anymore. You know what I mean? It's sad, but they're not needed anymore. Oh, yeah. Yo, what up, Jay? Also, Todd, hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. I gotta go to the moon right now. To the moon. I mean, Minfina did say something about the outing being her only chance. Yeah, it might be one of those things where it's just like, because they aren't needed anymore, they're like, bye. Yo, dude, what is up, my man? How you doing? Little, do come in, sit for a while, and tell me of your time in Elpis. I shall send for some tea, since their visit to Etheris the Lapritz have taken to brewing the beverage to serve along with afternoon treats. I have no need for sustenance, of course, but I do recall Vanar providing such things when we engaged in lengthy discourse. Continuing the custom seems appropriate somehow. Nothing. All right. I'll be back for you. I'll be back for you, number 13. All right, cool. Yeah, and 6.5. We got a whole other problem to deal with in 